What's up productive people? My name's Connor from BusyBox and in this video, we're gonna go over everything you need to know about the BusyBox app. If you have not downloaded the app already, head over to the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and search for BusyBox Smart Sign. You can also scan the QR code on the box or go to busyboxsign.com slash app to download. Once you have the app downloaded, let's open it up and get into the good stuff. All right, so to start, when you first open up the app, you will see the welcome screen. Just tap on the let's go button and it'll bring you to the scanning screen. While on the screen, hold down the two side buttons on your busy box for about a second and then release. Your busy box will light up blue and then appear on the scanning screen. Click on the device and enter a name. Quick note, you can change the name of your device at any point. We'll find out where to find that feature a little later. After you hit save, you may be notified about a firmware update. To ensure you get the most out of your BusyBox, we highly recommend that you always stay up to date with updates of the firmware and the app. You'll get new features for free. And keep your device on while it's updating. Quick little pro tip, to update the device, you will need a stable internet connection. After the update, we are presented with the main screen. Think of this as the control center for your busy box. Starting at the top left, we have a three dot list icon. This is where you can access the devices screen. If you have more than one busy box connected, it will show up here. If you have another device that you want to connect, click on the plus button in the top right corner of the devices screen. That will bring you to the pairing process. If you have two or more devices already paired, when you hit the plus button, it will bring up two options, add device and add group. Add device will bring you to the pairing process and add a group will bring you to the grouping function. I linked a detailed video on grouping in the description below. In summary, groups allow you to control multiple devices from the same phone. Let's run through how to create a group. Select what busy boxes you want to group by selecting them from the list. If you want to select all of them, click on the select all box. After selecting the busy boxes you want to use for your group, rename it and hit save on the top right corner. After you hit save, it will bring you back to the devices page. From here, you can turn the group on and off by clicking the power icon to the right of the group. The best part is even if your busy boxes are in a group, you can still change the color of each individual busy box. To do so, click on the busy box that you want to change. After I click on the busy box icon, it brings me to the main screen of this individual busy box. Let's say I wanna make it blue. I can click on the blue preset if I wanna make it red, I can click on the red preset, but those are not your only options. Let's jump into the other colors in a second. Real quick, I wanna talk about the gear icon in the top right corner of the screen. Click on the gear icon and it'll bring you to the device settings screen. On the screen, you are able to rename your device. So if you didn't rename it when you paired, simply navigate to the screen and you will be able to rename your busy box. If you want to remove a connected busy box from the app, you can click on the delete delete device button. This will remove the device from the app. While on the topic of deleting, when you're on the devices screen, swipe left over the device icon. This will give you two options. Delete a device, which is the red trash can, or edit the device name, which is the orange pencil. If you hit the orange pencil, it will bring you to the rename function. If you hit the red trash can, it will ask if you want to delete the device. While well, on the devices screen, you can find out what version of the app you have and quickly navigate to our setup page, terms and conditions, and FAQ page by hitting the inspector icon. From the devices screen, the fastest way to get back to the main screen is by clicking on the busy box you want to control on the devices screen. The busy box digital has a preset structure similar to the BusyBox S, but with some unique features that are appropriate for its digital screen. It has three distinctly different types of presets, text, image, and apps. Let's go over them one by one. All right, with text, here you can write any image you'd like, and depending on the font you use, you have up to 37 characters. We also control the font type, color, and the background color. Let's make a fun on-air sign using the Art Deco style font. Now let's set the color to blue and the BG or background color to light blue. Now we hit upload and the image is created and uploaded. Now let's upload an image. We can use file or gallery. 
to grab and crop an image. I'm gonna upload this fun deadline image that I made for when I'm working on editing a video. Now we hit apply and it applies the crop and starts uploading. Don't forget to set a brightness and hit save after uploading to confirm it looks like you want. When making your own images, make them 1280 by 480 pixels and they will fit your BusyBox screen perfectly. And remember, depending on the cover you have, you might need to leave a little bit of border or margin in the image for it to perfectly fit through the hole in the cover. Lastly, we can use one of the many apps with the BusyBox. At the start, we just have a few apps to choose from, but as we continue to develop the software, more and more apps will become available. So check this area after every update. Let's use the Clock app for demonstration. Now we set the brightness and hit save. And our preset is done. Remember to give it a name if you don't like the default preset number designation. As we move down the screen, you will see the power button. To turn your BusyBox on and off, tap on the power button. This will turn whatever BusyBox you are individually controlling on and off. So if you're editing a preset for a BusyBox that is in a group, hitting the power button will not turn all of the devices off but instead just the one you are controlling. And that does it for the BusyBox app. If you have any questions or want to deep dive into more specifics about each function, we built out a tutorial series that can be found on our YouTube channel. I'll add a link to that playlist in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and stay busy.